Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to solve for m in m minus 3 raised to power 4 equals 7 raised to power 4. Let's see solution. Although this question looks simple and you can easily see the answer is 10. But trust me, the solution is more than 10. So let's see. Since When we have a raised to power m and it is equals a raised to power m raised to power n is the same and equals as a raised to power n then multiplied by m. So we will apply this to this. So we have the equation, our equation above this equation to be m minus 3 square equals 7 square to the power 2. Such that, like, look here, if, we, if you multiply 2 times 2, you give us 4. Then we have m minus 3 is to power 4, like we have in the original question. So let's go. Now we have m minus 3 square is to power 2. We transfer this one here. We have minus 7 square is to power 2 equals 0. If you look here, you will see that we now have a difference of two squares. This is one and this is another. We have difference of two squares. Let's express it as, uh, let's say, when we have a square minus b square is equals a minus b, then a plus b. This is uh, general expression of difference of two squares. So if we apply it, we will have m minus 3 square minus 7 square then multiply by we had we subtract them first x minus 3 square plus 7 square equals 0 quadratic equation if you have a multiplied by b equals 0 it implies that a equals 0 or b equals 0. So, so far we have the product of this and this. That means that this will be equal 0 and this will be equal 0 as well. So now we will have m minus 3 square minus 7 square equals 0 or m minus 3 plus 7 square equals 0. So for the first case, which is which is m minus 3 square minus 7 square equals 0. We will have m minus 3 multiply by by itself then minus 7 square equals 0 we have m times m we have m square m times minus 3 minus 3 m minus 3 times m that is minus 3 m plus 3 uh, minus 3 times minus 3 that is plus 9 minus 7 square equals 0 we have m square Minus 3m minus 3m, that is minus 6m plus 9 minus 4, 7 square is 49 equals 0. We have to solve this quadratic equation. So, like I said earlier in our previous tutorial, that we multiply the first time and the last time, and that is m square multiplied by minus 49. And that is minus 49 m square. 
then we have to look for two factors two number whose product will be minus 49 m square and when had them or subtract them oh sorry this can be simplified m square minus 6m plus 9 minus 49 will give us that is minus 40 equals 0. So we now solve this quadratic. So we have minus 40m square. We have to look for two numbers, two factors, whose product will be minus 40m square. And when add them or subtract them, it gives us minus 6m. And the products, the factors that we have here, they have minus 10m and plus 4m. If you multiply it, minus 10m times plus 4m, we have minus 40m squared. And if you say minus m, minus 10m plus 10 plus 4m, which will give us minus 6m. Now we now replace minus 6m by minus 10m plus 4m. So we have m square. We have minus 6m here, but we replace it with this minus 10m plus 4m minus 40 equals 0. So we want to use factorization method to do this. We will have m square minus 10m then we have 4m minus 40 equals 0 from here we see that m is common so we factorize m out what we left here we have m minus 10 then what is common here we have plus 4 what we left here m then we have minus 10. remember i told you that what is there must be the same with what is there where we are using factorization method to solve quadratic equation. So now we have m plus 4 and we have m minus 10. Both equals 0. So now here we have m plus 4 equals 0 or m minus 10 equals 0. We have m to be equals minus 4 or m equals 10. We can name this one to be m1 equals minus 4 or name this one to be m2 equals 10. This is for the first case that we use. Remember here we have this and this and this is what we the one we just did. So for the second for the second case For case two, so which is m minus three square plus seven square equals zero. So we have m m minus three square plus seven square equals zero. So we will have m minus three m minus 3 plus 7 square equals 0. We have m times m. If you expand this, we have s square minus 6m plus 9 plus 49 equals 0. So we have m square minus 6m plus 9 plus 49. That is 58 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation and uh, we have to solve it, this quadratic equation. By solving this quadratic idea, let's say we want to use a quadratic formula, which is m equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, where our a equals the coefficient of m square, that is 1. b is coefficient of m, which is minus 6. And C is constant, which is 58. If you substitute this value into this formula, we will have M equals minus B is minus 6 plus or minus square root of B square, that is minus C square minus 4 times 
A is 1 and our C is 58 divided by 2A and that is 2 times 1. We have our M to be equals plus minus times minus that is plus 6 plus or minus square root of minus, 30, minus 6 square that is 36 minus 4 times 1 that is 4 times 58 that is 232 we have 36 minus 232 divided by 2 times 1 that is 2 we have m to be equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 32 32 and that is minus 196 divided by 2 from here we can see that we have our m to be 6 plus or minus we have square root of 196 multiplied by square root of 5 divided by 2 where remember that our high which is our outer and complex number is equal to minus 1 so we have m to be equal 6 plus or minus square root of the square root of 196 is equal to 14 so we have 14 multiplied by okay sorry let me turn this one to high minus one first then we have i divided by 2 so we have m equals 6 plus or minus 14 times i that is 14 high divided by 2 so here we can factorize 2 out we have 2 here what will be left here we have 3 plus or minus then what will be left here we have 7 high divided by 2 and we you know that this we cancel this so we have m to be equals 3 plus or minus 7 i divided by 2 which is m equals 3 plus 7 high sorry this no more or 3 minus 7 high so we have this one to be m1 to be equals 3 plus 7 high or our m2 to be 3 minus 7 7 high but remember okay this will be m3 and this will be m4 because we got in our m1 m1 to be minus 4 and m2 to be 10 now declare that our m1 is equals minus 4 m2 equals 10 m3 equals 3 plus 7 high that's a complex number and uh, m4 equals 3 minus 7 high you can simply check you can simply check by substituting m to be minus 4 you will see that the left hand side is got to right hand side and you can also check by substituting 10 into into a given question you will see that uh, the left hand side is got to our right hand side thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video Kindly leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our next video. Bye.